Hey guys, just trying out our new DJI Osmo Pocket. So far we're loving this camera. We used it last night uh, in the dark, uh, in the rain too. Um, and um, yeah, the picture's not bad. A little bit of noise, but you can still make out what everything is and it's still decent uh, quality. <laughs> I took it to work the other day and uh, did some time-lapse um, shots and I'll put that here in the video. A little bit ago I was in the backyard trying the slow motion uh, feature with the dog um, of course out of all the days he doesn't want to run around and go figure it's that's life case and uh, do a separate video on the case because it's, it's pretty cool itself um, but for a small camera uh, it really packs a lot of uh, options that uh, you know vloggers or anyone that's wanting to shoot a lot of videos uh, you know it's 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 a it's a no-brainer um, <clears throat> one thing that we like is you know right now it's on me but if we wanted to uh, show you whatever's in front of us or all that you know it's very simple um, hit the button three times, one three times, and it spins around the other way. And when it's in the forward facing mode, it is a lot smoother, uh, you know, I mean, just an amazing little camera. So when you're walking, I mean, everything seems so much smoother, so nicer. Um, <clears throat> definitely a great little camera to have. Uh, one thing, I don't know how many people actually use the small little screen that's on here, but you can use your finger on your phone. That's what I do. I have it hooked to the phone. The only thing is, is very sensitive. So as you're moving around, it just kind of, you know, you can easily pass what you're trying to, to get. So um, one thing, though, is once you get that, if, if you pass it, just hit the button two times. One, two, and it's going to recenter itself. Very simple. And then when you're done showing what you're showing, just hit it three t more times. One, two, three. And then it comes right back on to myself. Um, perfect little camera. So uh, we're thrilled because, you know, we don't have to carry as much stuff. It, it's not waterproof by any means. So, yeah, you're definitely not going to be wanting to take it to places that's going to get extremely wet. Uh, but for that, we still have our GoPros. Um, in about three days, we're heading up to Ludington, where we rented that cabin. Um, that's going to be pretty much a new experience. Um, what, we're, what, we're, what we're trying to do now is just try to figure out how to pack all of Piper's stuff and our stuff into uh, our car, because we're used to having the motorhome and it already has everything we need. So what I'm going to do is today, now that the rain's finally stopped, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, do a pre-loading trip. Uh, Betsy has the same Ford Escape and we're taking hers so there's more than enough room I'm thinking for our stuff and at least I'm hoping. We're bringing her uh, Piper's wagon and her stroller so those are going to be the two biggest things so I'm thinking we're going to put a lot of items in the wagon put the, the wagon up from the, right behind the driver's seat long ways to the back of the car stack stuff there and then, of course, in the back, then we'll go ahead and we'll put um, all the rest of our stuff. So I'm thinking if we put the grill, because we're bringing our Coleman grill. Let me unlock this. Can I give you an idea? Oh. <clears throat> so if we bring the grill, it pedaled on me. Um, so we can put that bigger seat down. And then the wagon could go there with stuff on top of it. Put the grill right underneath it. Put the um, 
put the uh, stroller down here and then put stuff on it and then we always have Piper in her seat and then you know that should work so um, yeah that's gonna be a fun experience uh, so I kind of got ahead of myself there uh, the reason that I do have the rental car is on Thursday of last week when I was coming home a uh, going through a construction site there a guy switched lanes and hit the toad so the toads in the body shop right now we're just kind of waiting uh, for the adjuster to go through and look at everything um, I'll put some pictures up but pictures aren't really giving it justice as far what happened but I can kind of demo in this car here um, so on the toad the headlight fender bumper and wheel got it so all that's damaged but it shifted because we have running boards it shifted the running board and the doors are tight so they think that uh, when it hit the front axle and all that it might have did more damage than they're thinking so now we have to wait for that um, and the adjuster so far hasn't uh, hasn't called yet so I'm, I'm waiting for that matter of fact I should probably be in the house instead of out here uh, shooting but yeah so um, that was kind of unexpected and, you know, but that's kind of how everything is in life in general so yeah <laughs> let's see what else can I tell you Piper was sick all all last week so I pretty much stayed home with her um, she's at daycare today but she ended up with a cold pink eye and she gave me the cold um, they got it and get the pink eye um, but you know she's she's a trooper she even even though she was miserable she still kept a happy face and uh, you know that's what I love about her so I'm hoping that uh, that she'll really enjoy herself uh, this weekend with all that we have planned um, I'm just hoping that the weather holds out they're saying that's going to be in the 70s in Detroit on uh, Friday when we leave but when we get up to Ludington it's only going to be about 60 and then it's not going to be much warmer than that the rest of you know, the weekend um, but most of the activities we want to do it don't matter if it's cold or not we'll, we'll still enjoy ourselves and uh, we'll just bundle up and um, you know, Pancho Pond Campground has an indoor pool, so we'll definitely utilize that and uh, the hot tub as well. Um, figure Sunday, Sunday evening will probably be the best time to do that because most people will be heading home and uh, we're staying an extra day. Um, so we're going to break the vid those videos up. So it's probably going to be about 10, 10 to 12 videos that we'll release. And uh, my goal is to try to do them every other day but it's it's really hard right now just like this video was originally going to be done on Wednesday and then with Piper being sick and everything going on I'm like well, okay I'll postpone it to Thursday well then we got the car accident so then I'm like well I'll postpone it to Friday and then uh, you know what can you do so yeah so keep an eye out for those videos and we'll talk to you soon until then happy trails